Hey everyone, hope you're all doing good. Today we'll talk about one of the hottest attractions in the city of Amsterdam, which is the capital of Netherlands, as you all know. I will talk about Museum Plain today. It is practically the cultural hotspot of the of of Amsterdam. It is a world-renowned quarter or a city square, as you would say, which is famous for all the museums it houses. So it is buzzing with tourists and locals all the day and more so when there are uh, events going on. So it's a fantastic place to walk around, take a stroll with your partner or your family and friends, walk your dog or just simply soak in the atmosphere because there's so much history here. The highlights of the museum plain or museum square or quarter as you might say is the Rijksmuseum, which is possibly Netherlands' most famous museum. And the crowning jewel here is Rembrandt's Night Watch. Then you have the all-famous Van Gogh Museum, which houses his uh, largest collection of paintings, letters and drawings. Then we have the uh, contemporary modern art museum, the Stedelijk Museum. I hope I'm pronouncing it correct. Then we have the Moko Museum, which is a relatively new museum, which has a fantastic collection of modern and street art. The other attractions would be the Concert Hall, Concert Jibo, and then the Vondel Park, which is one of the most popular parks in Amsterdam. There is the Diamond Museum. And you can do a shopping at the PC Hoofstrat or Van Burlestrat. I hope I'm pronouncing all these names correct. As of now, we have only visited the Moko Museum. Unfortunately, uh, we did not have enough time to uh, see the whole of Rijks Museum and the tickets for the Van Gogh Museum were already sold out. So Moko it was for us. So Moko Museum, like I already said, is a relatively new museum amongst these brotherhood of the museums, if I might say. It is a modern and contemporary art museum featuring famous artists from the street or modern art zone like Banksy. So Moko Museum was started with the intention of bringing street art forms, contemporary art forms closer to the public. One of the, one of the artists or painters uh, heavily featured in Moko Museum is Banksy. He is like a modern art or street art ninja so um, moko museum features his um, famous the world renowned paintings like laugh now girl with the balloon kate moss barcode amongst the many others like i forgot the names of all of them um, i think there is an enigma a different type of feel to contemporary art which is like very different from the classical art forms so even though i prefer the classical art forms over this uh, modern art type but i must say some of the paintings of banksy and the collections here has really impressed me okay the highlight part of my visit to the Moko Museum has to be the digitally immersive art exhibition which is which was curated by Studio Irma in collaboration with Moko. Studio Irma is basically a female contemporary artist from Netherlands. She has um, put on an amazing piece which is known as Reflecting Forward. It is a mesmerizing technique and interplay of light and art. It just blows your mind. The concept was connectivism and like how the digital medium has been connecting our lives and what it will be like in the future. Like one word I can say about this and it is mind blowing. Well, I tried to capture some part of it in this video, but it was crowded and the videography was not much of an option in the packed area but i i must say that it the collection this uh, this portion was the best part of the, my of the visit so that's a wrap on the moko museum tour i hope you have enjoyed the video as much as much as we enjoyed touring it and creating the video 
Please do like, comment and share the video and please subscribe to my channel for more uh, exciting videos. Thank you and see you soon.